And it was a packed house at the Berglund Center tonight as professional hockey returned for the first time in 10 years. More than 6,000 people came out to see the Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs take the ice. WSLS 10's Rob Manch caught up with several fans, many of them nostalgic and excited for the sport to be back. More than four hours before the game, people were lined up for tickets remembering what it was like to have hockey in Roanoke. We just really enjoyed, you know, the atmosphere. Everybody was into the games. We were kids. We just really liked the, you know, the, um, I guess the fast-paced game, and it was just a lot of fun. As the time ticked toward the puck drop, fans were getting excited. And we're going to show Roanoke, uh, and we're going to show the hockey community and the, uh, the professional hockey playing family there that uh, we're here to stay. Rail Yard Dogs owner Bob McGinn says his team is there to stay as well. I hope we're around long enough so those kids can bring their kids and the grandparents are there. As the gates opened and people filed in, they got to see a brand new arena. We've got a brand new video scoreboard. We have two cameras that are going to be watching the game. We're going to have replays. The music is awesome. Hockey fans Will and Neil Kane used to watch the Express play years ago. They say the turnout of more than 6,000 was unexpected. Oh, I had no idea. We had to park like a mile and a half away, but that's great. <laughs> and the two said the rail yard dogs didn't disappoint. They've been doing great. I mean, they've been killing penalties. They've killed three penalties so far during the game. Uh, it's really exciting to have them back in Roanoke, and I'm, I'm just ready to cheer them on. Let's go, dogs! Thousands were cheering with them, and McGinn says that tells him opening day was a success. I'm seeing a lot of smiles on everybody's faces, so I think we're doing something right. In Roanoke, Rob Manch, WSLS 10.